plaintiff, Diana Adams, says after she moved to California to pursue her rap career, she moved into a house full of men and the defendant and his pit bull moved in soon after. And Diana claims there was constant drug and alcohol use. Diana suing because she claims the defendant's pit bull attacked her. Defendant Ahmed Sabir Calloway says Diana is a talented writer and artist, but she's angry and aggressive and has a history of domestic violence. Ahmed insists his dog only attacked Diana after Diana slapped Ahmed's hand, and he's countersuing for rent and emotional distress. Ma'am, you're suing your former roommate for $5,000 for medical bills and lost wages? He wasn't a roommate, but that's what I'm suing him for. He slept on the couch. Didn't <laughs> How long? Um, well, from the time that I was there for him sleeping on the couch to the time I left, probably about roughly six, seven months. He was a roommate. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, counterclaim for $2,000 for rent and emotional distress. Correct. Plaintiff Diana Adams is suing her former roommate, who claims Diana is an aggressive drunk with a history of domestic violence. Start with you. Yes, sir. Um, I'm an MC from North Carolina. Uh, my name is Love Jones. That's my stage name. Um, a lot of people compare my style to Jay-Z or uh, Lauryn Hill. I moved to California in January 2010 with mutual friends um, to pursue my rap career. In 2013, he quit his job packed up his house, threw his pit bull in the back seat, and drove to my house, to California. With your permission? Sir, he didn't have my permission. We, have a, we had a mutual friend, and um, when I just woke up and he was there. You referred to it as my house. I mean, we were all living there. So it wasn't, it wasn't in my name. House. No, sir, I was renting a room out of the house. Oh, in the okay. house. The house I was staying in. Yes, sir. Gotcha. <laughs> all right, and when he got there, uh, how did things go? I mean, with him and, you know, just a, a house full of men, it was filthy, it was dirty, you know, drug use, alcohol abuse, all types of things. Was that happening before he came? I mean, I guess so, I don't know. <laughs> you guess? I mean, sir, I was at work a lot. I didn't you don't really know when it's him. nasty or not? Oh, oh, it was always, it was always nasty, but he contributed You were to living it. with drunks. Nasty people <laughs> and drug addicts. But that was their chambers. Mine wasn't. My house, my, my room wasn't nasty. Okay. You act as if he brought it all when you were already there with it. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. You tell me some background about this. Maybe you'll make a little more sense. Uh, with no disrespect to Lil Wayne over here, I think that she is a wonderful... What's your rap name? That's, that's already taken. Lil Wayne is already taken. What's your rap name? Love Jones. You're staying. Think, oh, you did tell me. Love I think, Jones. I think, she, I think she's a she's a um, a talented writer and artist. Um, but as you can see, she has a, a a masculine bravado about her, and there's nothing wrong with that. But um, she's angry a lot. She's very intimidating, and she's very aggressive. She has a history of alcohol abuse. Um, she's the time that I was at the house, she be in her room, but drunk. Um, she was also fired from Boss. the job. <laughs> for being intoxicated on the False. job. They found um, a bottle of vodka in her locker. How do you know? Um, I have witness statements from roommates. Her co-workers? Co-workers. One of our room, I, the roommate that she's talking about is the main lease of the house and got her the job that she had. Mm -hmm. uh, she lost the job that she had. And I, That's it, came, it came to my attention that she was intoxicated. And you say she's aggressive and intimidating. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did she um, jump on you? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't jump on me, but no. she does have a history of domestic violence, sir. Um, okay. she, was, she was charged with four felonies for beating up a former girlfriend. So um, Four felonies? Yes, sir. All right. Ma'am, give me some specifics about your lawsuit today, the medical bills and lost wages. Um, his pit bull attacked me mm -hmm. on um, January the 20th. I have the pictures for those I also. see it. Please go on. It's Ju July. Not July. January. I'm sorry. Okay. July 20th. And yeah, I guess your list of uh, damages. Wow, it's pretty tough. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. I took those pictures. Tell me the circumstances under which this occurred. When I, when I got to the hospital, they thought I was a, a gunshot patient. Yeah, I would too. This is my um, medical bills mm -hmm. right here. This is a copy of those. But tell me the circumstances surrounding the bite. Um, I walked in from work. I put the key in the door. 
I started greeting my roommates, you know, just saying, what's up? The dog jetted out of the cage and just attacked me. It grabbed my leg. He had to take his fist and put it in the dog's mouth to unlock his jaws. At that point, um, I'm I'm, I was bleeding profusely. My uniform is ripped off. They took me to the hospital. He took me to the hospital. I took her to the emergency, it, to the urgent care. Urgent care couldn't handle it, so I took her to the emergency room. All right, but let's start with the dog biting before we get to you taking her to the hospital, which uh, you should have. Let's get to that. She came home, mm -hmm. um, I believe, to be intoxicated and Not very, so. uh, very boisterous. Like I said, a, a masculine bravado about her. Very aggressive. So as she approached me to smack my hand, that smack triggered my dog. The greeting. The greeting, as correct. She, it was, it as was, she greeted you, your dog began uh, attacking Co Correct, her. it was in a very, very aggressive manner. Um, mind you, she was like two inches from the crate. The dog didn't jet out of the crate. He got triggered by the smack. He thought I was being attacked and, and he came to my rescue. There's more Judge Mathis after this. Plaintiff Diana Adams is suing her former roommate who claims Diana is an aggressive drunk with a history of domestic violence. You've, you've never shaken hands or smacked hands in front of the dog before? Oh, I have, I have, um, but not in, the, in, the, in a way that was aggressive like, like the way she approached me at, the, at that occasion. Okay. Do you believe you should be held liable for what happened to her? I do, I do not, Your Honor. Why? Um, and I'll go ahead and explain. I've already paid about $657 worth of the medical bills. Why would you do that if you didn't feel liable? Well, at the, well let me explain. At the time, I felt very bad took her to the hospital. I even, I even tied the tourniquet around her, um, mm -hmm. the wounds. Took her to the hospital. Uh, for the first week, I wrapped and unbandaged and rebandaged her wounds. I did offer her $2,000 in cash. And I'm a, I'm a video producer and a music producer and engineer. I also offered her $1,500 of services, which totaled the sum of $3,500. Um, she did not want to accept that. Why did you offer those things if um, you didn't feel liable it's just because you felt bad? Yes. Okay. So whose fault do you think it was? Hers uh, or the dog's? A combination of both. <laughs> combination? A combination of both. Okay, be because the way she spoke to you or greeted you caused your dog to bite her and therefore she calls it herself to a certain extent. Well, like I said, Your Honor, I, I believe she's I heard you. you don't have to say like I said. Once you say it, I, I heard it then. <laughs> I believe she's All right, ma'am. Uh, Can I please say something? Uh-huh. Um, I had just gotten off work. I wasn't drunk at all. I do not abuse alcohol. I walked in, and I was so happy because I got a promotion on my job. And I was telling my roommate You can about be my drunk promotion. and stumbling. That doesn't give a pit bull <laughs> sir, the right to attack and bite you. <laughs> Uh, what about the lost wages, ma'am? I see your medical expenses. Yes, sir. They're right here. I have my, my pay stub showing exactly what I was making. See it, please. And I also have my lost wages and my tips because and I was how an long were you off work? I was down for about 10 weeks. Three weeks, Your Honor. Hey, sir, did you see those bites? It took three weeks for them to take the staples out. These were in your legs? Yes, or? sir. I have the pictures right here of the, of the healing right, process so right here. after they took the staples out, what prohibited you from working? I couldn't put any pressure on my leg. They were so severe. Okay. What do you have there you want to show me or tell These me? These are the permanent scars that I'm going to live with for the rest of my okay. life. All right. Okay. All right, so your counterclaim is 2000 for rent and emotional distress. Correct, How sir. does she owe you? She was on the lease for 12 months. I moved in in May. She stayed there for about nine months, but she was still on the lease and left the house in uh, a financial burden. So after came, the bike? After the bike, correct. So I came, I came. <laughs> but like I said, she was able to work. She, and she went back to work and got fired for being intoxicated. Plaintiff Diana Adams is suing her former roommate who claims Diana is an aggressive drunk with a history of domestic violence. Let's talk about the rent and emotional distress. I, I paid her rent for September, Lie. half of the rent. I paid the full rent for October, November, Lie. and December. And I have a witness statement. Lie. I have a witness statement from- You paid too. 
the main leaser. We we okay. all gave the money to the leaser and he gave it to the landlord. That's how it was typically paid? That's how it's always every been. Every month. Ma'am, every month yes, you sir. all paid? Yes. And, and I have what a months are you saying you paid on September, her behalf? September, October, November, December, sir. Tell me the amounts each month. Um, I think it was two fifty for September, and the f and five twenty five for October, November, and December. And I I have a witness statement here. Okay, so how is it that you want it back now? The two thousand dollars that I put up, I was thinking that she would you know sort of kind of take that out of what she is suing me for. But was she that didn't. an agreement? It wasn't an agreement, but she left the house and left us in dire Your straits. Honor, could he produce the Quiet, lease, please? ma'am. Because he's not making sense, and I'm trying <laughs> to make sense of what you're saying. You're saying the 525 you paid each month on her behalf. She didn't tell you she would pay you for it. Correct. But if we, if if I, if I didn't step up to the plate to pay it, then we would have got. But evicted. you're not the lessor, so she didn't owe you. Correct. She owed I, the person that. You all paid your money to every month. Correct. But so why isn't that person suing? Here's a statement of him telling or, or stating that I, that I paid her, her portions. And tell him now that was a nice gift. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there was an agreement by her that you pay my rent on my behalf and I will reimburse you. You can't voluntarily, hey man, let me, I'll just pay her rent. <laughs> I mean, we she don't even have to out. know about it. I'll just do this, I'll just well, pay we're gonna it. We're gonna get kicked out the house though, sir. Sir, that's the risk you take when you have roommates. Uh, nonetheless, uh, your emotional distress, how did she cause you emotional distress <laughs> after your dog, a pit bull, attacked her viciously? causing a lifelong scar. Well, what emotional distress you suffer? I had, to, I had to contemplate putting my dog down and that was, that was a very tough situation. You did it? No, sir, I did not, but. <laughs> sir, <laughs> think may I, about sir it. may I please say something? You don't have to say anything else other than give me my money. <laughs> Five, $5,000 for the plane if your plane is this good. You need to stop lying. You need to put your dog down. This is the sixth person at this bit. You have no regard for life. <laughs> okay. You're a that's mustard a seed of a man. That's a, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. I don't have nothing to say to her. Not one word. If you have a question about the difference between a business investment and a business loan, go to my website, askjuzzmathis.com. 